welcome all in this lecture we are going to learn about the tricks to solve the block diagram very easily and in the efficient way so just have a look at the trick number one that says that we just need to try to make a feedback system if possible so while solving the block diagram we try to make a feedback system if it is possible there are two types of the feedback system first one is positive feedback system and second one is negative feedback system so have a look at both this positive feedback and negative feedback system so here is the input R of S that is applied to the summing point and the output of the summing point is given to the block having the gain equals to G and this is the overall output that is C of S here is the takeoff point which is applied to the feedback path gain that is represented by H and it is then connected to the summing point with positive polarity since the feedback gain is connected with a positive polarity that's why we can say that it is a positive feedback and have a look at the diagram of negative feedback so here is input R of S which is applied to the summing point and the output of this summing point is then applied to the block having the gain G and this is overall output C of S this is the takeoff point which is being connected with feedback path gain and it is connected with negative polarity this is positive since the feedback path gain is connected with negative polarity that's why it is considered as negative feedback system let's find out the transfer function for this positive feedback so the transfer function is given as the ratio of the Laplace transform of output to the ratio of Laplace transform of input and its expression is nothing but equals to the gain of the forward path gain that is nothing but G divided by 1 minus the multiplication of forward path gain and feedback path gain that is G into H always remember that the polarity of the positive feedback in the denominator is always negative now have a look at the transfer function of negative feedback so the transfer function that is C of S over R of S for negative feedback is equals to gain over 1 plus multiplication of forward path gain and feedback path gain since it is a negative feedback that's why in the denominator here is a plus sign so if any block diagram is given and if the feedback system is possible then we just need to make a feedback loop and find its transfer function easily this is all about trick number one now let us have a look at the trick number two so according to the trick number two if the summing point lies between two blocks having the gain or the different gain then what we need to do is we just need to shift our summing point before and after the block so it will be more easier to solve the blocks 
so let's discuss this scenario here is the input and here is the gain g1 and here is a summing point and the output of the summing point is then applied to the another block having the gain g2 and this is overall output in this case a summing point lies between two blocks having different gain so we just need to do is we need to shift the summing point after the gain g2 or before the gain g1 so that these two blocks come in the series combination okay so there are two options option number one is shifting the summing point after the block g2 that is summing point after g2 so this circuit will look like this is g1 this is g2 and this is the summing point and here is one more option to solve this circuit that is summing point before the g1 so if we shift the summing point before the g1 then also these two blocks that is g1 and g2 come in series connection so this is how the trick number two help us to solve the block diagram with more easiness so let's discuss trick number three so according to the trick number three if the two summing points are separated by a block then we just need to try to bring both the summing point together so let's discuss this scenario if here is a one summing point and it is separated by a block having the gain g and here is another summing point this is the overall output so in this case two summing points are there but both these summing points are being separated by this gain so we just need to make two summing point together by shifting this summing point before the block so if we shift the summing point before g then how our circuit will look like this is the first summing point this is our second summing point and this is our block having the gain equals to g and this is our overall output and here is a second option also available that is we can also move this summing point after this block g so summing point after g so our circuit will look like this is the summing point that is being shifted after the g so here we have to first draw the g after this here is the first summing point and here is second summing point and this is overall output so how this trick will help in solving the block diagram 
more easily. Since we learn about the rule that we can also interchange the two summing point that are conjugate to each other. Since these are the two summing points, but in between these two summing points, here is a block. And if we make these two summing point as a conjugate summing point, then we can easily interchange this summing point and make the block diagram more easier. So by the help of trick number three, we can easily interchange our summing point. So this is all about the three tricks that we will use in the upcoming videos for solving the block diagram more easily. Thank you.